It's January 18th. We're just two days away from the wonderful inauguration of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. For those of you who voted for Joe Biden because he seemed nice and like a grandfather about to bring you a bowl of soup, guess what? Other people were anticipating the Joe Biden inauguration also, and they can't wait. Migrant caravans are forming up all across Central America. Guatemalan military clashed with a migrant caravan using tear gas and batons, according to ABC News. Now, you'll notice here that the Joe Biden news media is already covering for him and protecting his incoming administration, even before he takes office. ABC News had hundreds of photos to choose from showing the actual migrant caravan heading for the border of the United States, but they chose to show a close-up picture of the Guatemalan military. Let's go outside the American news media to find actual photos of what was going on just one day ago. Here's a photo from the IndianExpress.com showing the, the migrant caravan clashing with Guatemalan military. And this is from the South China Morning Post showing the endless floods of families, young men, and children streaming north to enter America to take advantage of all the wonderful benefits that the Biden administration has promised them. Now isn't this sad that we can't get actual factual information from the American news media and we have to go to photos from the South China Morning Post to actually show us what's going on there? Isn't that amazing? Our, our corporate news media controlled by the Democratic Party. If we scroll down to the bottom of this news story by ABC News they give a final little gift to the Biden administration. It's in the final line of their story. So far, Biden's team has indicated it will not make immediate changes to policies at the U.S.-Mexico border. And in fact, that is something that Joe Biden mentioned in his holiday Christmas message before Christmas, of which I did three videos as a subject on. This final sentence by ABC News is a lie. It is a deliberate lie written by ABC News to once again protect Joe Biden. ABC News has edited the actual release statements of the Biden transition team in order to protect the Biden transition team. So you hear here ABC News massaging facts, massaging information to assist their political party of choice. Get used to it because this is going to be how the news media will operate every day of Biden's administration. They don't work for you. These news media companies work for Joe Biden. To actually find what the Biden transition team is saying to the migrants, NBC News reports migrants hoping to claim asylum need to understand they're not going to be able to come into the United States immediately. Think about that for a moment. This isn't telling them no, never. You have to enter the United States through legal immigration processes and legal immigration means. Normally, if you want to, be, to enter the United States on a green card, you have to go to the U.S. Embassy in your country of origin. You have to get a thorough medical exam. You have to get a river of shots. You have to pay fees for your application. You have to have your background checked by the military and police departments of the country that you're leaving to make sure that we're not getting a criminal. You have to be thoroughly vetted before your application is forwarded to the U.S. Uh, INS, Department of Immigration. What this Biden transition official is actually saying is, we're going to let you in the country, just give us some political cover for the your first few months. Biden transition official tells migrants there's help on the way. But now is not the time to make the journey, meaning it would make Joe Biden look bad. And here's the final statement from the official. We have to provide a message that health and hope is on the way, but coming right now does not make sense for their own safety. So they're actually making it like the, the, the evil Trump officials are going to harm them, but it's okay to cross the border with drug-running drug mules and coyotes under the Biden administration because you'll be, you'll be safe then. I mean, this, this makes no sense at all. While we put into place processes that they may be able to access in the future. So you got to translate that statement by the Biden transition official. Please make sure that you are first in line at the U.S. southern border because the river of benefits that Joe Biden is going to hand to you from the U.S. taxpayer are going to run out very quickly because there are not enough U.S. taxpayers to pay for all the benefits that we're going to hand out to our migrant friends 
depopulating entire countries in Central America as they stream into the United States. Whoever, that's right. Whoever is first at the border, you will be getting the lion's share of free health care, free unemployment assistance, free, free uh, education, and all the other freebies that exist on paper. And when the entire population of South and Central America arrives into the United States, all those benefits are going to magically disappear as we become the next Venezuela. It's all, not all negative news here. According to Radio Havana, Cuba, there are even more caravans arriving from the Honduras as one country after another is streaming north to receive all the free benefits that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris have promised them. Is this a great time to be an American taxpayer? We just have endless amounts of money that we can throw at the rest of the world's problems because Joe Biden and Kamala Harris want to be considered good people. And they are going to be good people with your wallet. For all of the people in the United States of America who voted in the 2020 election because Joe Biden seemed nicer than Donald Trump, Right. I hope you like being nice with your entire bank account because you're going to be unemployed, your factories are going to close, and someone working for a dollar a day is going to get your job. Enjoy the new Pax Americana brought to you by Joe Biden and soon to be Kamala Harris. Thank you and God bless America.